Hello everyone. Welcome to the Code of Bears Lunch and Learn. My name is Monty Tisland. Today we are going to discuss how to use the Crystal Report's running total fields. They can be used to sum, average, min, max, count, and quite a few other things. This discussion will focus mainly on the sum. These can be used as running totals. They can also be used to total data that is repeated in the detail and group sections. Their strength really shows when they are used in group sections and some of the data needs to be totaled that is not from the details section. Let's start with a simple running total. This report contains the order head and order detail tables. For each order and line there is an extended amount that comes from the detail table. Let's put a running total column as the column on the far right. We're going to do that by right-clicking on the running total fields. We're going to call this the running total extended price. We are looking for the document extended price detail and we want it to be a sum. We're going to do evaluate for each record and it's never going to change. And let's drop this in the details section here. And let's preview. As can be seen from this, the running total is included. It's going upward. Let's check the last page. This one right here is simply a sum of the order detail. And this one's the running total and they look like they match. Just for examples, let's show you what happens when we do other things. Let's change this to an average. How about, let's try changing it to the maximum. looking for here. I'm looking for one where it changes. And then at some point in time we should get to one. Oop, there we go. It maintains the maximum until it finds another higher one that it keeps right on going. Ooh, how about ooh, let's do another one. How about let's do a count. It's just, just simply a count. Here, let's try one more. Let's try, how about, what is it, the weighted average? Let's put what's let's weight it with. Whoops. Let's weight it with, how about the order quantity? Let's try that one. OK. You can see that there are varying different things that you can do to it. And let me go back here. Let's reset this little guy. We're going to reset this back to a sum. And we'll review it here. We took the document extended price detail. We're going to sum it. We're evaluating for each record. And we never reset it. Now that's the simple view. Let's take a little more, let's take a little more complex one. And let's look at our second example here in a complex one. This one has two groups, and it is summing totaling at the bottom here. If you look at the bottom here, at the sum total, this is the sum total that's generated by this. As you can see, it's a little bit off. So we need to solve that problem here. I buried this one in here before the party. This is a running total based on what the total amount should be. So let's go back here. So let's take a look at this. This report contains the order head, the order detail, and the order release tables. For every order in line, there is at least one release. We would like to keep track of the order total as the running total and a grand total at the bottom, which is what I did here already. The difference with this one is this order comes from the order head table, and we are displaying data for the details section 
as a drill down report from the order release table. So let's take a look at this here. The second column from the right, the order amount sum for less if we look is valid. But again, the grand total is a little messed up because that one's coming from the order head table. Because of that, the same value appears on each line, and when you sum that value, you are, you are totaling up all of those up, and that is not what we want. So now let's add a running total field to this. Let's go back to the design. We are going to let's expand this. Let's create a new one here. Let's call this the order amount. All right, so let's grab the order head, order head document, order amount. We're going to sum it. We're going to evaluate it on the change of group number one, but we are never going to reset it. So we're going to drop this into our group footer number one. So let's drop it into here, down below that. Let's make it a little bigger. And let's take a preview. Start off 94,000. We had another 320, 419, and a 36. So, and as you can see, these two match. <clears throat> so that must be a good thing. So let's kind of review again how or why it work. Let me go back to this first. I'm going to edit it. So, we are summarizing the document order amount, which is the same column. We're summing it. We are, on, we are evaluating it on the change of group number one. So every time that group number one changes, which is the order detail order number, we're evaluating it by each order, and we're never changing it. Let's say we wanted to change this into a running total field. In order to change this simply into a running total field, all we have to do is change it so that it resets on the change of a group, the same group. So we'll change that. We'll preview it. As you can see, the order amount just simply changes each time you do that. Let's try another test here. Let's change this so that it evaluates it on the change of group 2 and on which is the order line and then it resets after every order number as you can see when it kinda does that things kinda go sideways on us in a big hurry so let's go back let's actually get that set back to where it's supposed to be so let's reset that and I'm gonna change it back to actually to a running total okay that seems to be working right okay now proper placement of this actually affects how it looks too. As you can see we have a single result for each one which is exactly what we want. If we take that and move it up into the order line you can see that our value actually never changes because it's getting evaluated properly but we don't want it on each line because that makes it look like each line has ninety-four thousand dollars in it. That's not the desired result. So let's go back here, move it back into its proper location, and we can show that it goes up in here. And it looks like we have a proper running total again. Okay, in summary, the running total fields are most useful when you want to total an items when the report is grouped and the data is being totaled from one of one of the items in the group section. How you total the items is important as where you place the running total fields. Again, my name is Monty Tislin. Thank you very much, and have a good day.